The reason we're talking about the moon now is it's the 45th anniversary of Apollo 11, of the first lunar landing. July the 16th was the launch. I was there. I walked, watched these guys walk by me on the way to the moon. It was one of the most memorable experiences of my life. And, and had written a book on why John Kennedy had decided to go to the moon. So I, I felt a kind of involvement with the undertaking. Watching Armstrong step on the moon, it's, you know, one of everybody that did that remembers where they were when it happened. So it really was a memorable part of American history. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Well, I think it was a challenging goal, certainly, but uh, the NASA had been studying what it would take to send people to the moon and told the president with enough money and a dedicated priority, yes, they could get people. It was something that could be done. Uh, Kennedy did it as part of the Cold War competition with the Soviet Union. He wanted to demonstrate to the world and to the U.S. population, U.S. strength, technological, organizational, and in those terms I think Apollo was a great success. What changed was building a big rocket. The reason the Soviet Union did things first is that they had a more powerful rocket than the United States that was able to launch Sputnik first and then launch the first human and then the first uh, two-person uh, space mission. In a sense, the race to the moon was a race to build a bigger rocket. Uh, the United States was very successful in building the Saturn V moon rocket. The Soviet Union tried to build an equivalent and failed. I think the biggest surprise uh, when I talked to people about uh, what happened in the 60s was while John Kennedy was still alive. Kennedy would have preferred to cooperate rather than compete with the Soviet Union. And two months before he was killed, he went in front of the UN and said, why should this be a matter of competition? Why not do it together? Nobody remembers that. Finally, in a field where the United States and the Soviet Union have a special capacity in the field of space, there is room for new cooperation. I include among these possibilities a joint expedition to the moon. Why, therefore, should man's first flight to the moon be a matter of national competition? Why should the United States and the Soviet Union, in preparing for such expeditions, become involved in immense duplications of research, construction, and expenditure? Uh, and Kennedy, uh, once he was assassinated, the Apollo became a kind of monument to a, a fallen young president. There was no chance of the cooperation with the Soviet Union. Well, in the 60s, it was a two-country race between the United States and the Soviet Union for space achievements, space accomplishments, space leadership. Uh, the world since then has evolved. There are many more countries involved in space. Only, still only three, the United States, now Russia and China, that can launch people into space, and the United States right now can't. Uh, but many more space active countries. And rather than competition, the dominant theme is cooperation among these active spacefaring countries. I am skeptical that we are proceeding at a pace that will get us to Mars in the 2030s with humans on the Martian surface. But if it happens, it's going to be a collaborative undertaking of the nations of the world and the private sector. It's going to be a public-private partnership. So very, very different than what got Apollo to the moon.